Hello, it's Delusionist Speller. I'm going to make some vegan meatloaf today. And I have learned a little trick that if you film your video and then you want to cut out parts and kind of make it like you go from one scene to the next scene real quick, I know how to do that now. So what I'm going to do is just film this as is and then go back and edit it after the fact. I know that might seem like a no-brainer for some of you more experienced guru creators but for me it's something new so i'm excited that i learned how to do it anyway i am following a recipe for vegan meatloaf from the um eatplantsforlife.com uh, website so i will be following that as i go um so you can watch and see what i do you can make your own vegan meatloaf if you want or you know whatever kind of protein you're using you can make a loaf of it, whatever it is. All right, so basically I'm waiting for lentils to cook right now. You're supposed to put them on, if you're doing them in the microwave, which I'm trying, you put them in a bowl, cover them with water, put a lid on the bowl, and cook them for 10 minutes. Then you test them. If they're still not done, then you will put them in for minute intervals at a time till they're fully cooked. So the first part is get your stuff ready, your lentils, and there's going to be mustard, and I think ketchup, and a bunch of other stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting all my ingredients out here. Yeah, ketchup. We got the mustard. This is horseradish mustard. Matthew might not like that, so I'm just going to get the right color mustard. Actually, it's Dijon. Close enough to the regular one. It's just Dijon mustard. Alright, of course we got salt. We got spices. Look at this nice thing of cinnamon I got. I think I showed you earlier. But by the way, earlier if you're watching my, um, my uh, 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 what do you call it? Shopping haul video. My grocery haul then you would know that I forgot to mention we got oat milk and almond milk. So, yes, we got those two. But I didn't mention those because I forgot and we left it out in the car. And Matthew's like, where's our milk? I, said, I don't know. Did we get milk? Did, it, did we have it in the cart? Yeah, we had it in the cart. I said, okay, well, I don't know where it is. So he went out. Sure enough, behind the passenger side of the seat, there it was. All right, so first thing we do is some ketchup. Let me get the, um, first you're going to get the baking pan out, because you're going to put this in a, a loaf pan, like a bread loaf pan. Uh, I need to find a bread loaf pan. I know I had, oh, I know where it is. This thing, you want a bread loaf pan. Because that's how you make meatloaf anyway, right? Alright, you got some seeds or something in it. Just gonna spray your bread loaf pan. Oh, I'm sorry. Spray. Alright, there. That way nothing sticks. Which is important when you're using like veggie substitute for animal products, you don't want it to stick, and it will stick very easily when you're using vegetable-based ones. All right, so they said to take a bowl, which I have a bowl just like theirs up here. It's a glass bowl. I think I have two of them. I got the little one, and I got this one. I always rinse my stuff out before using it. It sat in the cupboard. You don't know what critters have crawled into it. So to decritterify it, I rinse it out. Okay, I'm going to set that down. First thing they show is ketchup. So you can put, I don't know, it looks like they're using about maybe a quarter to a half a cup of ketchup. So I poured that in there. I kind of eyeballed it. All right, what's next? Looking at my phone here. 
mustard. Okay, so you can put some mustard. We got our Dijon, that's what we're putting in it. Here, just so you can see what I'm doing. Mustard. <laughs> if I can get that tab out of the way, that would help. I like mine very mustardy. Matthew might not. I don't know. But he's not watching me do this, so what he doesn't know can't hurt him, right? <laughs> okay. Mustard back in the French. Next ingredient, aquafaba. For those of you that don't know what aquafaba is, it's when you make beans from a can, you take the juice and you pour that into stuff and cook with it. And it's very healthy for you, and it burns calories real well. So yeah, and I happen to have some aquafaba from the beans I made. So we'll pour some of that in there. A little hard to strain it out when you've got a big bowl, but there. What do they call it? It's a carbohydrate, but it's when you have cooled it off, it actually burns calories when you eat it. I can't remember what it's called, though. Okay, next. Oh, they're going too fast. Wait, go back to the aquafaba. Mustard. Yeah, we got that. What else? Aquafaba, what comes next? Onions. All right, so we're on onions. Let me chop up some onion here. It sounds like our lentils just beat. I got about a half of onion here. Oh, oh, you can't get over here, honey. I'm gonna take this one. I don't want the cat to get hurt on the knife. So. Bring everything over here. Here, you can watch me cut an onion, how fascinating. First I cut it this way, careful not to get your hands in the way. Don't cut it all the way through, just almost all the way through. And then make slices, which that wasn't supposed to fall off of there, but that's okay. If anybody knows a better way to slice an onion, please let me know. I probably will go and do some research about it at some point. All right, then we'll turn it this way. And this should get it into little, make sure you bend your knuckles so you don't slice your fingers off. Always bend your knuckles if you're cutting near your fingers. Okay, here's our onion. Onion is good in any kind of meatloaf, grain loaf, whatever you want to call it. It's delicious. Okay. All right, now we're going to put this into that bowl that you just saw. Put the onions in there. Ruby next. Green peppers we don't have, so we're skipping those. We put the mushrooms. I got some baby Bella mushrooms. I don't think I showed you those earlier because again they were in the back of the car left out there. So baby Bella mushrooms. Just gonna chop them up, throw them in the bowl. If you got peppers, you can put peppers in it. I just don't happen to have them. We didn't end up having enough money to get the peppers, too, with everything else. And that's okay, because we got all those other yummy, delicious vegetables. And we can keep up on our veggies. All right. Okay, so very carefully, don't drop your mushrooms on the floor like I did. Put this into your bowl. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are really good for a meat substitute because they're kind of, when they're cooked, they're chewy like meat would be, like a piece of steak or whatever. All right, next. Pre-soaked lentils. All right, hold on. Let me go get my lentils. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my lentils and see that part where I walked over to get them I will actually chop that out and make it so that it went from where I said I was gonna go get them and I'll be here with them so that's what's nice about splicing and editing videos if you know how to do it it's very helpful then making you sit and wait for me <laughs> all right so let's put the lentils in with everything Mm. And honestly, they're not putting a whole lot of everything in, kind of like a 
maybe half a cup of each thing or a quarter cup, but equal amounts. All right, next, breadcrumbs. All right, they put quite a bit of breadcrumbs in. I happen to have these seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, these aren't the ones I thought I had, but I guess, I thought I grabbed panko ones, but apparently I just grabbed breadcrumbs, so whatever. And it's wheat, I know, but that's okay. No biggie. Get some breadcrumbs in it. Next. And all this fumbling around over here will be cut out of the video so you don't have to wait for me to do all this stuff. Next. Italian seasoning and garlic powder. Okay. We have Italian seasoning and garlic powder up here somewhere. Let's see where it is. What's this? Onion powder? That's onion powder. Here's my Italian seasoning right here. Put some of that in there. Okay. And garlic powder. Wherever the heck that is. I think I need to buy more garlic powder actually. But I do have some here. This is the mixed seasoning here. That's cinnamon. Maybe I don't have garlic powder, but I did. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe not. No garlic powder. Hmm. All right, well, we got garlic anyway. We can just use the regular garlic. They're saying garlic powder. Oh. I have some strong muscles to do these garlic braces. Ooh, that made lots of garlic. So take your knife and Scrape it on and off of there. Discard the rest. This is what was all blended together. Mix it really well, just like you would a cow meatloaf. You want everything all blended up and all the flavors mishmashed together. The great thing about this is that you can actually stick your finger in and taste it if you want. With raw meat, they don't advise you to do that. But this has no type of animal in it. That's really good. Okay, so let's spoon it on in here. Just like so. Go Go's coming up to check it. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with. Actually, I got stevia. That's even better. I'm kind of bitter. And I'm gonna get some syrup because that makes it taste kind of brown sugary. This is actually sugar free, which is better for me. Next, what are they doing next? Mustard. And they're stirring it up and putting it on the top. All right, so mustard. Yeah. Mustard. A little bit of mustard. That's good. Don't want to overkill it with the mustard. All right. We're going to stir this up, a little topping thing we're going to put on the top. Stir it really good, especially because there's stevia that we're using. Make sure you taste it. Make sure it tastes lovely. What are you doing right here? Yum. Oh, delicious. All right. Now we're going to take that and just smooth it on the top. Smuts. I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up. Smuts it on the top. All right. Next. Let's see. 
what do they do next? Put that on the top. And then they're putting dried herbs on the top of it. Bake 400 degrees for 35 minutes. All right, so I'm going to bake it. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And, of course, when it comes out, I will use it as my thumbnail because I don't know how to stall the camera while I bake this thing. So, um, yeah, for the, herb, for the herbs on the top, I'm going to take this stuff that Matthew likes so much and I like so much. I can find it. There it is. This uh, steak seasoning or, no, meat tenderizer. Not steak seasoning. I'm just going to put a little bit of meat tenderizer on the top. Okay, we're going to put it. Bake this at 400 for 35 minutes. In it goes. And that's it. I will post the result.